Hi, we're back. This is Dave Vellante. We're live from VMworld 2011. SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage, siliconangle.com, siliconangle.tv, uh, cloud.com, uh, cloud, sorry, cl cloud angle, services angle, wikibon.org, check it out. Uh, we've got a great panel here. We're going to talk about storage optimization. Uh, we have uh, Cube alum. Actually, you guys are all Cube alum. Uh, Noemi Gresdorf from uh, Cambridge Computer Technologies. Uh, welcome. Thank Thanks you. for coming out. You made the made it made it through the storm, okay? Yes. And uh, uh, Greg Schultz, Storage IO, uh, famous blogger, and uh, Mark Farley, who was uh, what? What are you now? You're no longer three par Farley. What no, I'm I'm HP Sisyphus. HP Sisyphus. That's right. Oh, okay, beautiful and famous blogger, prolific blogger. So we're going to talk about storage virtualization. First of all, welcome back to the Cube, uh, VM World 2011. I wonder if I could just, you know, get your initial take. No, no, I mean, maybe it's not fair for you. Did you get out here before, uh, before Monday or no? no? Were you delayed I, by the I hurricane? I got in last night, late last night. You were delayed by the hurricane, so I'll, yeah. I'll start. Um, I'll start with Mark. We talked about this, you know, on the last panel, but some of the interesting stuff that you've seen at the show, and, and Greg's got a really interesting storage innovation that he's going to talk about. But what have you seen that really has uh, blown your dress up, so to speak? Uh, well, the thing that's most intriguing to me that I said before is this whole, uh, I'm trying to remember it, VX LAN. That, that's interesting, that's going to be some new thing, there's going to be a lot of discussion and questions about it. If there's one thing I like, it's mystery, right? So to me, that's the most mysterious thing going on here. Otherwise, I think the, the enhancements in vSphere 5 to storage are interesting, what's coming with that. You know, VASA, what happened with VAAI, what's happening with uh, uh, S, I, I'm trying to remember it, SRDS, yep. that, that kind of stuff I think is really interesting. And the direction that SRDS will eventually go I think will be interesting to watch. Uh, With all these acronyms, we know we'll have a, a job for a, a good, oh, yeah. good time to come. Now Greg, you, you're talking about um, some very interesting concepts in storage, right? User self-provisioning, is that what I understand? Or was oh, there's <laughs> absolutely self-provisioning, all kinds of fun <laughs> things happening. And as Mark mentioned, lots of interesting things happen around uh, vSphere 5. Yeah, so um, I think I saw that same, you know, do-it-yourself storage out there on, uh, on, uh, on the boulevard. But, uh. Oh, a absolutely. You know, they got this new show, not to compete. Uh, maybe it is competing with yours called Storage Wars. Nice. Yeah, you've seen that where they auction off the storage bin and you get to go in there yeah. and figure out what it is? It does you know, maybe sound like a threat. Maybe we're going to see that now is with data auctions. Yeah. We've written about the storage wars, but geez, I, the whole new perspective. Oh yeah, whole so, new definition to big data. Yeah. <laughs> so Noemi, have you had time to check out the, the floor? Have you seen anything interesting? What are you looking for at the, at the event? Well, um, so Cambridge Computer Services is a national storage reseller, um, value added reseller and integrator. So my responsibility is really to go out and understand what is going on in the industry, what are the interesting technologies, innovative products, and figure out which ones our customers could benefit from the most. So I've been walking the floor and checking out the different... Um... So, Noemi, let me start with you. So you are uh, an expert in this field, actually a former expert, because you're an IDC analyst. Every IDC analyst <laughs> is an expert. I, oh, IDC Gardner said it must be true. And uh, I used to work at IDC, I can make those kind of jokes. But no, seriously, you have a great knowledge in the space of storage optimization. Um, and I think one of the, the, the hard parts about your job when you were there was, what is it? Because you had to size it, you had to define it. What is storage optimization to you? So I actually had this conversation with somebody walking through the exhibit floor. Um, what is what are the customers are looking for? And one of the things that they're looking for is obviously storage optimization, but I think it has two very distinct meanings. Um, the first is they want it optimized for performance, which means that they want to get the maximum performance out of the smallest footprint that they can. And I think that a lot of the innovation around the use of SSDs in storage systems or putting SSDs in uh, in the host, um, using him with hypervisors. There's a lot of innovation, a lot of interesting architectures that are coming out around that space to optimize um, performance of storage systems. And then the other side is capacity optimization. How can I store as much data as possible securely and safely in the smallest amount of you know, data footprint? So there's sort of two different uh, tracks that we can talk about in terms of storage optimization. Okay. Great, Greg. Um, you always have an interesting perspective on things. So, what are you, what are you seeing in the storage optimization you know, well, world? Let, uh, build on what uh, Naomi just mentioned here, which is it's about time, which is performance. It's about space, which is capacity. You know, what's been interesting, Naomi, is the last several years, a lot of the discussions, ninety percent, are focused probably around ten percent of the problem, i.e., around backup. 
as opposed to moving further upstream to where the source is. In other words, looking at other aspects of data footprint reduction, archiving, backup modernization, compress, consolidate, data management, all those things that if you don't check them up front, further upstream, they just keep trickling down. Yeah, you can take it even one step further and you can say that, um, you know, as the disk drives are getting bigger and uh, we have greater density, there have been some concerns around the use of RAID and there's this conversation around using uh, erasure encoding and there's a couple of different applications. Because of, of rebuild times are like of the rebuild eight months times to rebuild the terabyte disk drives in a six, you know, RAID 6 can be a couple of weeks long. So the idea that where object storage comes into play and then further even the dispersal algorithms um, that we're seeing being productized, um, that's a form of optimization if you think about it because you know, moving up the stack. So RAID 6 takes maybe 25% overhead in terms of capacity. But then if you want to have a DR set, you have to replicate it, that's double that, right? So you've just doubled the capacity that you're consuming, you know, per site with RAID 6 overhead. Um, with the dispersal algorithms, for example, you can gain higher redundancy without having the RAID rebuilds um, while doing it geographically dispersed with maybe 1.6, 1.5 overhead versus you know two and a half times overhead in capacity. So there's a lot of different technologies at different levels of the system infrastructure and the software layer that add to the whole concept of capacity optimization as well as performance optimization. So but moving up the stack, left, right to left, let's say, what's your perspective on this, Mark? I mean, you, your scope is, is maybe a little different, um, but what is storage optimization? maybe even put in storage efficiency to that, that whole mix. What does that mean to you? Yeah, so I think there's, uh, I think there's three uh, product classes for storage efficiency, and I, I'm talking about capacity now, not, not so much performance, but that they're uh, reclamation, uh, uh, dedupe, and uh, uh, compression, right? And, and if you apply those technologies in different ways, you can, they can fit for different types of applications. Certainly dedupe is uh, fantastic, uh, technology to use for archiving and backup, right? And NetApp uses it for primary storage. Uh, nobody else is really doing that yet. It's That's an interesting area. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how that grows or how that develops. Uh, reclamation ha was a hot button uh, about a year ago. There was a lot of stuff going on last summer, not not the one we just that we're in, but the summer before, where there was a lot of talk about reclamation. It's kind of cooled off, but I think it's going to come back. Uh, as there, there's this notion of uh, virtualization sprawl, you know, it's so easy to create virtual machines, it's possible to create uh, data repositories out there that, that then get forgotten and unused, right? And you need tools to try to, to, try to reclaim that stuff. You, well, first you have to identify it, and then you have to reclaim it. And, and so you're seeing things on the, AP, you're, you're seeing software vendors like VMware, like Microsoft, coming up with APIs that help storage uh, storage arrays reclaim space and turn it back to the free pool. You know that that's an interesting area. I think you're seeing a lot of development there. But I, on top of it, I think I just think people are going to find ways to get the storage back that they already paid for instead of having to go out and get storage with POs. All right, guys. I'm sorry that we're so tight on time here, but we've got to wrap. Um, I'm actually going to ask you guys. You know. Ooh. Ooh. We're done. Ooh. Uh, why, We're you done. Else to say? Oh no, no. I just. Uh, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have gone on and on and on like that if I had known. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. We got a little bit of time, but we got to wrap. So I want to finish with uh, hey, no. with with one last question here. All right. Let's let's put our uh, you know binoculars on or telescopes if you want. What's next? I mean, we've we've seen DDU. We've seen we're talking about compression, uh, reclamation. What's next in? In, in storage optimization, storage efficiency. No, Emmy, what do you what do you see? Well, like I said, I think that there's a need for um, other forms of optimization in terms of capacity, where um, you're dealing with uh, achieving greater redundancy and safeguarding your data without um, the penalty of multiple, multiple, multiple copies. Um, and then there's, I think, there's a lot to be said for um, storage optimization in the performance space, and there's a lot of activities. Real time. Real time. Yeah, great. Mr. Schultz? Putting it all together, leveraging what you currently have, leveraging the new technologies. In other words, the A, B, C, Ds. A, archive, backup, uh, backup modernization, compress, consolidate, data management, dedo, 
getting into some of the others, the storage tiering, space-saving snapshots, reclamation, going off and finding that orphan storage that's just sitting around, taking up space that you forgot about a VM or something that you'd provisioned on it. But putting all those different pieces together, but focusing across everything, not just backup, online, primary, using the right tool for the task at hand. Outstanding, great. Mark? Uh, I think the uh, application of dedupe in wide area environments, uh, Noemi had touched on this a little bit, yeah, the idea that said I, I can dedupe something remotely, uh, I don't have to send it, but I can still uh, rehydrate it at another location if I need to. So you, you share metadata instead of uh, instead of actually moving bulk, bulk amounts of data and then re-deduping them. This, no, this notion of, of, of speaking the same language across the portfolio and, and, Ex and exactly. not having to rehydrate, uh, uh, good, good vision. All right guys, listen, thank you very much, Noemi Gresdorf, uh, Greg Schultz, Mark Farley, uh, this is the Storage Optimization Spotlight at VMworld Live, Dave Vellante at wikibon.org. This is SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage of VMworld, and we will be right back. <laughs>